Hi there! I am here with another video for you. Um, I finally settled on a regular day to post these, so I'm going to go for Mondays. Today's Monday. Now you can uh, look for these weekly, as was the original plan, uh, on Mondays. So, um, I just recently posted a blog, uh, or submitted to have it be like a guest post, and I will share with you if it gets published. Um, but I did figure I'd go ahead and share with you what some of the content was about that. So um, a big word that you hear uh, is gratitude. And, you know, you hear it in spiritual areas. You hear it in, like, personal growth and development sections. And um, even in building a business, people always talk about cultivating gratitude and how important it is to stay in that frame of mind. And I agree. Um, I work variously on written or spoken uh, gratitude lists and things, um, trying really hard to just stay upbeat and positive and remember all the good that I do have in my life, especially um, things that I can take for granted, like clean drinking water and uh, plumbing, indoor plumbing and stuff like that. So, um, But I was thinking about how when we do these daily, um, it can get kind of stale or we're just sort of... Um, writing down the same things over and over or like just the easy stuff. And so I was thinking of ways to kind of spice it up and keep it relevant because the whole point in doing gratitude lists isn't like, I mean, you're not just doing them to be a good boy or girl. Like you're doing them to get into that feeling, like to create that emotion around it so that you're in that space of just feeling that good feeling of gratitude. Um, but if it's something that's become kind of stagnant and monotonous, you're not really getting into that feeling. It just becomes um, just rote. Uh, so, so I came up with a few ideas to keep it kind of fresh. And um, one of them was to actually start with something that you absolutely do not feel grateful for. Something that's causing negativity or irritation or anger or sadness. Um, so figure out something like that and then write down a list of all the positive things that surround it. So um, I listed my breakup as an example of this. I um, was feeling really heartbroken about it, of course, as I've shared a little bit here. Um, but I was able to come up with a list of all the things that I appreciated about the relationship and the person um, while the relationship was doing really well. And so I listed our road trip to New Mexico and all the great live music that we saw together and just those days of like hanging around in our pajamas, making food for each other and laughing and things like that. We went on some really great hikes. Um, there was a lot of good. And so when I thought about that list of great memories and good love, um, and then I stuck on the end of that and now it's over, it sort of took the drama out of it. Um, sort of gave me some perspective like well yeah I had two and a half years of awesomeness with this person um, and now it's over and I can learn to live with that for sure. So um, heartbreak's kind of a big one though so I also brought up an easier example which was that I have really thin walls in my apartment and I can hear my neighbors and they're awesome people but they can be really loud sometimes and not them so much but just like their tv and I have gotten disproportionately angry about it before because I think I'm just like really sensitive to noise and stuff like that. So I had to really find a way to come to peace with this. And so I definitely made a gratitude list of all the things that I love about them and this apartment. And, you know, this place has tons of windows and I love the neighborhood and it's got an amazing porch with a hammock on it that I just love. Um, it rained last night. And so that was fantastic to just be out there while it was raining and um, my neighbors are really nice and they have super cute dogs and they're friendly and they've clipped cookies that they baked to my front door before and, um, just really thoughtful and cool people. So I didn't want to be hung up on this one thing. So I made this list of all the things I love about the place and all the things I love about them. And then I stuck that initial complaint underneath it. So here's this long list of things that I'm grateful for. And then I wrote, but they're kind of too loud sometimes. And it really made me literally laugh out loud and it put it into some perspective that I really needed and I was able to chill a lot. Um, I also bought ear earplugs and uh, <laughs> meditate and do some deep breathing around it when I really crave that peace and quiet. But overall, it's um, chilled out a great deal. So that can be super helpful. 
Um, I think I'll leave it there for now. I had a couple other ways, but I can save those for another video. I want to keep these kind of short. Um, the next thing I'm going to talk about is I'm teaching a class this Wednesday on how the patriarchy stifles creativity. And so I'm teaching this art class to a drop-in center for um, women who are homeless or precariously housed. And I'm really excited to see how that goes. And I will share with you next week how that went and what we talked about. And uh, yeah, until then, I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye.